Hi everybody. Today is Sunday, October 27, 2019, 405 p.m. It is 19 degrees Celsius, 66 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm in front of Jane's Carousel in Brooklyn Bridge Park. And today I'm going to take you on a tour of Dumbo. But instead of walking through Brooklyn Bridge Park today, I'm going to take you through the lesser known streets of Dumbo. That being um, Water Street and Front Street. You can check out some of my other videos of Dumbo. I just want to change it up with this um, video where I go through Brooklyn Bridge Park, go over the Brooklyn Bridge. Inside this building here, you can get a lot of great things to eat and places to hang out. It's the um, Time Out Market on the first floor. There's also a rooftop bar up there where you can sit down and have a drink. This is the St. Anne's Warehouse. It's been converted into a um, theatrical place. Before it used to be an industrial warehouse and now it's a performing arts center. So you see here inside is the Time Out Market, New York. Basically, it showcases New York's best restaurants, bars, and experiences all in under one roof. Made famous by Time Out Magazine. They have everything from custom bagels in there to uh, dough, cookie dough you can eat instead of ice cream. Very, very unique places. So this is Water Street, Brooklyn Bridge is to my right, and I'm going to continue walking over here. This street is lined with Belgian blocks, keeping with the historical nature of Dumbo. There used to be a lot of um, freight railroads that came here to pick up supplies all the way from the coastline. Dumbo, by the way, stands for um, Down Under the Manhattan Bridge Overpass. It's an acronym. There you can see the Time Out Market, the custom bagels as I showed you before. Looks more of a horseshoe than a bagel. It's kind of strange. You got to check it out. There was a very heavy downpour of rain uh, recently, which just stopped. Oh, I know what you um, Here's Empire Stores. What is Features that West Elm inside. Oh, you can also go inside here to connect to the Time Out Market as well. But the Brooklyn Historical Society is also inside here. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm from Queens too. All right. No, Astoria. Yeah. All right. We got some Queens folks here. Yep. Here we got the whole Bull Blue Point Brewing Company. Haven't tried that place, but I know it's very good. This pig has just been walking ahead of me this whole time. It's the uh, King Power. There's an art gallery here. Diane Meyer Berlin. Here is Main Street and Water Street.
Now this place I've tried before, One Girl Cookies, excellent. You have to try all their cookies and everything is handmade too. Here there's Agir, fashion store, looks like it caters more towards the skateboard community. I've approached Washington Street. This is a very famous spot to get uh, take pictures. Here you can get a frame, a uh, perfect picture of the Empire State Building located through the arch of the Manhattan Bridge. That's why everybody comes here to take a picture. You can't really see the Empire State Building right now because it's so foggy out. If you want a better picture, I advise you to walk um, further up towards Front Street. And then get very low to the ground, then you'll see a better image of the Empire State Building. There's a gym here, Gleason's Gym. This uh, huge structure in front of me is the Manhattan Bridge. And you can see here the old railroad tracks, part of uh, Dumbo's Pass, the industrial neighborhood. There's a picturesque view of the Manhattan Bridge from this angle. And now this is one of the archways underneath the Manhattan Bridge. They host a lot of events here. Sometimes there's music, um, music performances or flea markets like here. This is what you'll miss if you stay under the um, Brooklyn Bridge Park instead of wandering around the neighborhood. You'll catch special Listen. events such as this, such as this. There's a winter flea and smorgasburg opening, November 2nd and 3rd. A couple of days from now. There's even custom jewelry here and looks like those are magnets for sale. Giant flea market here. Right. Got some sports kind of apparel. See the sign there? Every Sunday is Brooklyn Flea. The Brooklyn Flea oftentimes has their vendor set up over here, but because it was raining so much, they moved underneath the overpass. There's a handful of businesses on this side of the street. Love Doe, Hunter Douglas, Archway Cafe, or Cafe Archway. Here's a view of this section of Dumbo. You can see that there's still some signs of its industrial past. The CrossFit Dumbo looks like it's been in the original building. But now I'm walking on this side of Dumbo, which isn't as well known as um, that other section.
Here is J Street. That's why it's always good to act prudent. That driver had the vehicle's left turn signal on, but instead ended up going straight. So you see here, Dumbo is still very commercial on this side of the street. Hasn't really developed completely. Only the areas underneath the Manhattan Bridge and westward. And in fact, starting from the next block after Bridge Street, I'll be entering the neighborhood of Vinegar Hill. So Vinegar Hill is unique because it used to be called the Irish Town of America. And it's named after the Battle of Vinegar Hill, an engagement near Anisquithy during the Irish Rebellion of 1798. I don't really know if there's still a large Irish uh, population in Vinegar Hill, but I know it used to be a large one. Okay, this is Bridge Street. I'm walking into the neighborhood of Vinegar Hill right now. This area also, like Dumbo, used to be very industrial. And many of the buildings during the construction of the Manhattan Bridge had to be uh, moved away and the land seized. There's a, uh, looks like a private game center over there. They have laser tag and a archery studio, looks like. Kid, can I interrupt you, sir? Oh, sure. I love your videos. Action Kid on I YouTube, love your yeah. I, 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 All right. All right, so I just met two fans of mine. That was pretty cool. Just me walking around in Vinegar Hill and I meet two random fans of mine. <laughs> Here's a building under construction, 250 Water Street. I love Dumbo. This it's very unique. Hmm. And then there's a vacant lot over here.
Now I'm at Gold Street, and this building on the corner here, the landlord decided to decorate the place. Spider webs, pumpkins, and a spider. Or two spiders, I should say. There's another one over here. To be honest, this is very weird coming down this way. I've never really been down this street before. Actually, it is my first time being down this, going down this street. Usually I stick to the other side of Dumbo, but it's always good to explore, right? This area experienced a revitalization when artists moved in and they wanted to be close to Manhattan with the views of Manhattan and they built up the area. That's happened to a lot of New York City neighborhoods. An area gets distressed and then artists move in because they see the neighborhood as a good opportunity for uh, cheap housing and expensive housing and then the area gets gentrified The most uh, prominent example is Soho and Williamsburg So you see right there across the street, Gallery at Gaia, prime example of artists that move into the area. This is Front Street. I'm going to walk here back to Dumbo. This is a public school, PS 307 Daniel Hale Williams. Actually, I think this entire area used to be called Vinegar Hill, which encompasses modern day Dumbo. But because the Manhattan, Manhattan Bridge uh, was built up, real estate uh, interests created the name Dumbo in order to attract more people into the area. This entire area used to be called Vinegar Hill. But now the current Vinegar Hill name only encompasses everything east of Bridge Street. I remember reading about that before. Here's Front Street and Gold Street.
This might be a temple or something. Okay, I'm looking on Google Maps. This is a Buddhist center. Dorhi Ling Buddhist Center. Very interesting. There's also a few homes over here. There's also a sign on that lamppost saying this is the Vinegar Hill Historic District. Come on, Agnes, go. Come on. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here. Oh, it finally went. That dog definitely had a lot of drool on its mouth. Kind of cute, actually. New development going up. Looks like I have to cross the street in order to continue on to Front Street. Oh no. That sweater just got ruined, being dropped in a puddle. This development is huge. It takes up the entire block. Oh, yeah. I remember coming down this block during the five borough bicycle tour back in May. It's a tight fit here with this car. In fact, that Infinity is parked partly on the sidewalk. Wow, this car is a classic. <laughs> this car is amazing. Area 53 laser tag. So I'm back in the busier section of Vinegar Hill what is now known today as Dumbo. It's also the much noisier section as well, as evidenced by the subway. The city didn't think 
too much about soundproofing the Manhattan Bridge, but because that entire structure is made of metal and steel, the sound just echoes throughout the whole area. Yeah, I'm looking down Pearl Street where I was walking before. Amazing how the weather just cleared up like this. It's a bagel store on the corner, La Bagel Delight. There's another gym here, Equinox. There's another subway. Here's melt ice cream sandwiches. They're delicious. I get their ice cream sandwiches frequently when I walk over the High Line. What I'll do right now is I'll walk on Picture Street. No, I'm just kidding, it's official name's Washington Street. I just love this street so much. Back to Brooklyn Bridge Park. The area of Front Street past this street is pretty well known, so. I don't feel like I need to report it. All right, move over to the side. Look at this view, it's absolutely incredible. The city should eventually close the street off to traffic. It's just, there's just so many people here that it doesn't really make sense to keep it open for vehicles. I think I'll walk to Pebble Beach and then end the video there, giving you an iconic view of the Manhattan skyline.
playground is very unique in that it inspires a lot of influence from the old past. This entire play area is designed and modeled on an old wooden ship. Okay, here's Pebble Beach. I don't know if there'll be too many pebbles left after all these kids throw them all into the river. But anyway, I'll be ending the video here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed this walk of the lesser known areas of Dumbo and Vinegar Hill. And I hope to see you all next time. Take it easy everyone. हाँ वो बात नहीं आ पाई है